high tech is in the last session we have uh, uh, we have done uh, adding the dependencies uh, in the palm.xml file okay so in this session what we will do is we'll uh, write a simple example okay before that we'll discuss what are the resources required to construct a simple spring core application okay to construct a simple spring core application we required three resources one is bean class the other one is configuration xml file and the third one is client application so you know what is bean right so what is bean class what we have what we are going to write in the bean class and uh, configuration xml file you know right we will provide our bean information in configuration xml file so what is there in the client class so in client class we will pro we will provide or we will create the container okay so you know right the use of container the container is used to manage the life cycle of a bean so we will create a container we will give this configuration xml file to that container that it can create an object of this bean okay so once the container is creating an object okay so then we can use this created object to perform any operations okay so we'll do, we'll see all these things one by one one by one so in this session first i will create uh, bean configuration xml and client application okay so uh, then in the next tutorial we'll write the code okay so fine let's start now okay so okay let's uh, create a bean now source main java right click new uh, class okay so here provide your package name so I, I want to store the beans in this package so i have given the different package name so give your class name here name is nothing but your class name so for example i am taking the class as a employee okay so click on finish that's it so your employee class is created in your package so we have two resources one is client application and the other one is bean now we want to create a configuration xml file okay so to create a configuration xml file so here again go to the source main java same here there is a direct option like before if you are using any other eclipse ids like uh, uh, like uh, uh, like any mars or oxygen or any other ids instead of stairs so you won't find this option spring bean configuration file so that's the beauty of the spring bean configuration file it's by default it's giving the configuration file it is configuring for you all the bean stacks and everything it is configured for you you just have to use that file okay so let's click without wasting our time let's go, uh, create the bean configuration xml file okay so here uh, we have to provide the configuration file name of course so uh, we will provide the configuration file name but the thing is that so what name we have to provide so we are creating this configuration file for what for employee bean only so to configure the employee bean so now what i'll do is i'll give the employee cfg dot xml you can give the any name but uh, i just want to like you know uh, tell the people that this is the employee configuration file if i am creating any other organization then organization bean then i will give the organization configuration for xml file okay all this like it should be meaningful so whatever you are giving the file names you should be meaningful okay just go click okay here you can add the aops and all these things the bean stack also you can add but by default it is it will be added to your spring configuration xml file so we'll discuss about this tag later okay just click on finish see here 
it is added the bean tag automatically if you are not using this spring tool tool this tag won't be there you have to add the tag explicitly okay so that's it for now 